Good evening. About 400,000 people are expected to be out celebrating New Year's Eve on both sides of Victoria Harbour tonight. Police are implementing special traffic arrangements around town and various public transport companies will be providing overnight service. Kenneth Fung is standing by in Lai Kwai Fung to tell us more on how Hong Kong repairs to ring in 2011. Over to you, Kenneth. Well, hi there, Jenny. Good evening and Happy New Year. It looks set to be a long night of celebrations here in Lang Kwai Fong. In fact, it's pretty much been going on non-stop since Christmas Eve. Speaking of which, like Christmas Eve, streets around the area have been closed off to traffic since 6 o'clock tonight. And there are celebrations also at the IFC and over in Times Square. But first, let's take a look at the party scene where I am. It's party time as the countdown to 2011 gets underway. A festive atmosphere here in party hotspot Lan Kwai Fong. So many different uh, uh, people here and it is absolutely amazing to, to, to stay here to see all the different uh, uh, cultures. We wanted to get the atmosphere. Bookings are full at this Chim Sa Choi restaurant which offers a spectacular view of Victoria Harbour. This year is the, up to 20% already. <laughs> because the, this, this month is the uh, economy is really good. Now the restaurant has also stocked up on a variety of champagne as the beverage is and always has been a favorite among revelers ringing in the new year. Special traffic arrangements are in place. Many roads in Tim Sa Choi are being closed to traffic in phases. Over in Causeway Bay, it will be Hong Kong's version of the Big Apple countdown at Times Square. To make way for the expected crowds, roads in the area, including Russell Street and Matheson Street, have been closed to traffic since 5 o'clock this afternoon. And fireworks will light up the 2 IFC building in Central at the stroke of midnight. Vehicles will not be allowed on seven nearby streets, including the Rumsey Street flyover, Man Kwong Street and Man Po Street. Revelers out celebrating are urged to use public transport. Most MTR routes will offer overnight service and many bus routes will be extending their service hours as well. Now, if you plan on staying out late tonight, it may be wise to wrap up as temperatures are forecast to drop to around 12 degrees Celsius overnight and it will feel colder tomorrow as a winter monsoon affects us here in Hong Kong. Jenny, it's back to you in the studio. Thank you very much, Kenneth.